Watch him be much harder than Coton ever was. He's gonna have all sorts of shit that's probably gonna fuck me up. I don't even get to pick the armor that I have on. So I don't get any buff from the Samurai Clan armor. I wonder if it's just neutral ground then. If you just fight. Hopefully you get to spare him or kill him. Like you get a choice. Alright, well prepare to watch me die at least five times. Let me go in peace. Alright, there you go. There's a perfect parry already. The wounds kept my spirit. We never heal. Killing me will only make them worse. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna back off from that. Okay. No, you don't. What do you think you're doing? Ah, damn it. He's just to you he's just so damn tough. Failure. This is not my revenge. It is my punishment. Oh. Yeah, he's he's definitely difficult. Shit, I keep getting hit by that when I shouldn't be. Alright, alright. I'm gonna back off a little bit. I'm gonna back off. Oh, oh shit. Damn. He is no joke. This guy is no joke. That is for sure. I beat him on the first try though, surprisingly. Wonder if he has a phase two. Oh. Well, that answers that question. No phase two. Honor me with the warrior's death. Nope, not doing it. Honor his wish for death. Let him live and walk away. So, I imagine you get two different endings. So you either kill him or spare him, and I'm gonna choose to spare him. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to choose that. He's probably going to fucking hate me forever for it, but... The Japanese... Japanese culture is fucking weird. But I will not kill my family. How the fuck he isn't dead from that, I'll have no idea. trophy for that. Mono, no aware. Is that it? Is that the end of the game? Is that the credits right there? Are we finally done? I think that's it. Yep, that's it. That's the end of the game right there. Well, hot damn. 
That took a long ass time to complete and it was a really fun game and I'm really glad I picked it up when I did. I pretty much picked it up the day on release and I finished it, I don't know, maybe two months later. It was about two months worth, more, two months worth of content. So that's another playthrough down and done. So I will say that I really enjoyed that game. Uh, it was probably one of the better ones to come out this year so far. Uh, we still have a little bit of the year left to go with uh, with Cyberpunk and some other stuff coming out, like uh, Spider-Man, Demon Souls, all sorts of that stuff. I mean, we still got a ton of stuff to roll through later on in the year, but so far I really enjoyed this game the most, uh, just because. I don't know, I got to learn a lot about the Japanese way of things and, I don't know, just different, just different stuff, I don't know, I feel like that this game is a little bit of a learning experience. Um, and it was just fun, you know, it was just a fun game and the story was really good. Uh, the characters I really liked, um, I don't really think that there was a weaker, like a very, a pretty weak character. I mean, obviously you have side characters that don't really develop, but that's fine. You don't need every character to be understood fully and, you know, um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think there was a character that I really hated, so, I mean, there's, there's, there's a couple things that I can complain about, like the, uh, I don't know, some of the quests were a little drawn out, some of them were a little long, longer than I wanted, some of them I just wasn't interested in, like the Mazako one, and I did absolutely nothing for Kenji, but that's just me. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure there was 100% completionists out there who will, who will tell you all sorts of stuff, and and tell you what's what, but I just enjoyed the game for what it was worth, so there was some, there were some things that I had to complain about, but... Excuse me. There were some things that I had to complain about. Um, that's just in my nature to complain, really. My personality type is definitely pessimistic, but and I and I really like to complain about small things. But that that doesn't really have an impact on the whole, you know, outlook of the game for the most part. Anyway, I mean, I still complain, but it, it very rarely has, you know. A, a thing where it impacts the whole game for me, so I, I don't think I, I don't think that this was a bad game at all. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, it was just some it was just some of the stuff that in it was in it that kind of kind of irritated me, and not in big ways, just smaller ways. Like toward the end there, I wish Jin or I wish the lock on for targets wasn't so poop, but. Like, he kept hitting the same shield guy, and I just wanted him to kill the bowman. But every time I tried, he just, like, he would go right back to the shield guy. So the locking on is a little bit kind of confusing. Uh, the combat is really, I'd say really difficult to learn, at least at the start. I wouldn't say very difficult, but for me, it was just kind of a lot to keep track of. Very, very much a lot to keep track of. And if you get rusty, you pay for it, as you saw in some of the earlier videos. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have much to complain about. Like I said, the story was good. Everything that I, I mean, I enjoyed the whole game. In, in memory of fallen souls who gave their lives in the Battle of Tsushima. Apparently, I guess it was a real thing. Mongols went to... Tsushima, Japan. Maybe. So, I don't know if I really have any much more to say about the game. Um, so I might just let the credits play. And, uh... I, I just don't know what else to say. I mean, I gave my review of the game. I thought it was really good. Um... I don't know. I, th I, I, feel, I feel like the reviews are most mostly right. And rating this like a nine, an eight or a nine out of ten. You know, I'd if someone if someone told me to pick up this game based off of what they would tell me about it and the story. I mean, I'd pick it up, and what the reviews would tell me. Sure, I'd I'd definitely pick it up. It's a bit of a longer game, 
like I said, it took me two months to get fully uploaded and recorded. I'm sure I could have beaten it much sooner than that uh, if I wasn't recording. So it's a it's a decently long game. It kind of reminds me of the newer Assassin's Creeds that come out that came out, and I'm sure I mentioned that before in other videos that I did on this game, but. It really did remind me of Assassin's Creed, where, uh, it, it, like, the newer Assassin's Creed games, where it just had, like, a whole bunch of, like, crazy perks that you can spend, and all sorts of open-world madness, and you can just travel for days on end, and the combat was just super similar. I don't know if you can parry in the new, in the new games. I don't think you can. It's been a long time since i played those games, but I don't think you can parry. But I know that it has a leveling system, and I keep burping up something, so I need to take a sip of water. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it, I don't know if it's a hundred percent similar. I mean, it, it obviously isn't, but there are definitely similarities to it. So, yeah, pre pretty similar to some things. If you like those Assassin's Creed games, then I guess you're gonna like this one. The armor system is good. All the customization is fun and all that. You can definitely mess around with a whole bunch of builds if you try. I wasn't even trying to 100% all most of the game. And I still got a lot of stuff out of it. Like, I still got... I think I got all the armors. And... Most of the fox dens. Maybe not most of them. Maybe, maybe about half of them, but... I wasn't even trying to 100% complete this game. You know, just get what I wanted to get. And it, it was, I still got a lot out of it. It took me a long time to get all the upgrades, but, you know, it was, it was good. So, I don't know. I think that's about, I think that's about it for me, talking about Ghost of Tsushima, so. Uh, I don't know if there's a new game plus. I can, oh, I can skip to the credits, that's good. So I don't know if there's a new game plus, or if it just hops me right back in to where I was. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Alright, Jin is writing. Oh wow, look at this nice little hut that he has. So this must be the armor die that I picked up. I've lived under these banners most of my life. Oh. Taka's trial run. Before he made my grappling hook. Wow. Didn't want to disappoint me. And he he found all sorts of stuff. You get all sorts of stuff at the end of the game. That's cool. I hope you find peace, Uncle. I'm sure he will. You He'll be fine. Me pick these for my mother. I can't believe she kept them all these years. First the Mongols. Now the Shogun. Never imagined I'd be so popular. <laughs> For most of my life, I dreamed of being your son. Yuna's knife. The blade's dull. Can't believe it's still in one piece. Huh. You were faithful to the end, Kage. Ah, oh, good old suicidal, un uh, ironically named horse. Ah. Oh. Rip, rip in peace. It smells almost sweet, but it's as deadly as any blade. How long did it take Yuna to make this? I owe her everything. She's the one giving me gifts. Oh, Yuna's the one who gave you all this. Okay. Kenji's best, or so he tells me. I'll have to share it soon. So it doesn't jump you right into New Game Plus, or maybe it does. Jin, I like your new home. It suits you. Well, yeah, you, you gave it to me. Now that Clan Saka is gone, and I've been branded a traitor. I heard about your uncle. Will he come for us? I don't think so. But sooner or later, someone will. What matters is you're alive. You defeated Kotun Khan and left the Mongols without a leader. The mainland is safe. But our home isn't. 
The Khan's forces are stuck here, more desperate than ever to conquer our island. Then we'd better keep fighting. Sensei Ishikawa is still hunting his student. Probably wondering what's taking me so long to show up. Where is Lady Masako? Tracking her family's killers. I offered to help, but she wasn't interested. She shouldn't do it alone. I'll find her. Did you talk to Norio? He said the monks still need support. Just don't forget. Tsushima needs you. I'll never forget that. Good. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Hit the mongers from all sides. Take back our home. Goodbye, Jin. And take care of yourself. I will. You too, you know. So, okay, so it doesn't jump you into New Game Plus. It just lets you finish up pretty much everything that you didn't finish up, like all the side quests and stuff, which I imagine I'm not going to be finishing up, except for maybe Ishka was, because his was kind of interesting. So I'll probably, f I might finish that one up. But the rest of them I just don't give a shit about. What's, yeah, okay, New Game Plus, like I thought. You get New Game Plus. And I imagine, I imagine difficulty either ranks up or, I don't, I don't know what happens. All right. Uh, what's that? Mountains of Clan Sakai. I will let my family fade from memory. Okay. Well, I think that about does it for me. I'm very happy that I finished this game up when I did, and uh, I thank everyone for joining me and watching the whole series. It's been a lot of fun. And until then, I'll see you in Twitter or Discord and in the next playthrough. So I'll see you guys later.